Number 43, letter A. Sketch the electric field lines in the vicinity of the charge insulator. Notice non-uniform charge distribution. Wunderbar. A lot of charge here, a little charge here, even less here. Okay? So, a lot of charge. We're going to have lines that are coming out from it. Pretend that they're all straight. You know, this is going to kind of angle here a little bit, like that. All right. As you can tell, I really love doing these type of problems. All right, and they should start getting a little more spaced out as, as it kind of goes, and they're probably going to angle themselves a little bit. That's good enough. Here we have a little density, right? A little density of positive. So it's going to start to kind of work its way on out from there. Okay. And then this positive one out here, it's going to basically be like a point charge, so where it radiates in all directions. All right, and that's that. Letter B. Sketch the um, equipotential lines surrounding the insulator. Okay, so remember the equipotential lines have to be now perpendicular to each of these electric field lines. So um, I'm gonna try my best, but my artwork is not very good. So this will probably come in here a little bit, then it'll come back out to make sure it's perpendicular, then it'll come in, then it'll come out, and go in and out, there we go, great. And then another one would look similar to that. I don't even know what I'm looking at, but it, it, it should, it, this, 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 hopefully, hopefully you kind of understand, right? It has to be perpendicular here, perpendicular here, perpendicular here. It has to be one continuous line. It's the only kind of way I can make it. Hopefully by doing enough problems, it becomes a little more familiar. I know the explanation is, um, definitely not one of my, uh, stellar explanations here. Um, oh, last thing, right? Indicate the direction of increasing potential. So remember, if you know the direction of the field lines, they always point away uh, from positive charge, and they always point towards decreasing, therefore, potential. So increasing potential would be pointing then towards the object, basically. And that's it. All right, guys. I hope this helped. Take care.